Hola a todos. Here I am, Rita Varios, Latin Connection TV, with a special treat, actually, for Latin Connection Sports. I ran into someone who is better known as, I'll, I'll let him say what the nickname is, but Mr. O'Neill, better known as Lefty. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you. So tell us why you're here, because part of why you're here is the reason I would like to feature you and inform our viewers of Latin Connection Sports. Well, I'm glad you're, you're doing this, Rita, because... Um, I wrote a book back in old, uh, January of 09, and it was a bat mod biography about my life story. And uh, it was put in the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. And I went on a book tour, and I started touring all over America speaking in behalf of the book. And one of the ladies in the audience happened to be Robin Nations from Nations Television Production Company, um, Movie Production Company. You never know. Goes to show. You never, never know. know who's going to show up. And in fact, a little uh, interruption. We were talking behind the scenes how when you get an invitation, right. you should just go. go. You right. never know why you're being invited. Right. You should just go. And in his case, look who was there. Right. And she comes up and says, my story needs to be uh, put in, on the, in film. And I said, yeah, I would love for it to be. Who are you? And that developed a relationship with us. I, I checked out a few of her movies and loved them. And so we signed a contract a couple months ago to start a movie production for me. And so my life story, I guess, according to her today, was going to be in the spring of either 14 or 15. We're not sure yet. But Congratulations. It's great because it's San Antonio. That's right. it's, it's where I retired from the Air Force. This is my home now. And it's just nice to be able to have it with the premiere here. Which I so in the meantime, while this film is being put together and, and ultimately produced, what tell the viewers what the name of the book they can in the meantime read the book yeah please do because it's based on the book is dreaming of the majors living in the bush there's symbolism there obviously here's a kid five-year-old kid dreaming to play major league baseball but he's not dealt that so what does he do and i just happen to be chosen as a white man to play in the professional negro leagues and later on in the history books i became the only white man i guess in two different states and two different contracts to do that. And as a matter of fact, you commented you just returned from a recent honor. Yeah. In fact, uh, President Jimmy Carter had me at his place in Plains last year. He took me, he brought me and my wife there, and I spoke at his national site. And then I went to his Sunday school class the next morning, and Harriet and I were there, and he was the one who was teaching the Sunday school class. And he really loved the book, and he wanted me to tell the story at his national site, his hometown, because he had something similar happen to him. And, well, I love it. It just goes to show, uh, you know, that in art, I believe there are, there is no color, you know, right. in sports, right. especially in sports. And uh, it just goes to show, you know, I'm going to dare to say that you're, it was your destiny to be in the Negro League because I'm just going to dare to say that you're white on the side and a little black on the inside there. A little I'm soul not, brother not right not here. <laughs> In fact, the first instance I had was... I say that about myself, well, too, by the way. <laughs> the first thing that happened to me on the mound, they told me that I had to walk to the mound a certain way when the music's being played, sort of soul strut. I didn't know what that was, so they yeah, the I, had, swagger. I had to practice that. And then the Pointer Sisters came on, and it took me forever to get to the mound. And when I got to the mound, the stadium was in, they were laughing their heads off. The first baseman looked at me and says, please, don't ever do that again. I love it. So maybe I was destined to play there, but obviously. But not, but not, not dance. dance. Yeah, not dance. Right. You know, you, di you didn't get the rhythm. Uh, you didn't get the rhythm. The league was wonderful. Uh, it was great in, in, in Mississippi. It was great here in Texas. And I wanted Texas people to know that it, the Negro League started in 1949 here and died in 1979. So it lasted a long time here. It sure did. Sure did. And and now it's going to stay on and live on in history thanks to the book that you've written. Absolutely. And all our Latin Connection TV viewers are going to have to stay tuned for the upcoming movie. Absolutely. Right, Lefty? Absolutely. Well, I also play the Spanish American League. So I, I know that a lot of them know about that league that's here in San Antonio. I play for Alamo Enterprises too. So. Very good. Which brings me to why don't you leave the uh, viewers with a website where they can contact you? Yeah, they can contact me on leftyoneal.com. They can also uh, email me at R-O-N-E-A-L uh, at, at uh, S-A-T-X dot R-R dot com. Uh, they can get my book on Amazon. They can get it at Barnes & Nobles. They can download it on anything. So. so no excuse. No excuses. No excuses. No. You can find this book anywhere and everywhere. There you have it. So with that, we are going to close out this wonderful, very special interview and exclusive for Latin Connection Sports. And you stay tuned right here because we have one more interview coming right up right here 
at the San Antonio Film Festival with Latin Connection TV.